Hi, Dengbo here. Uh, good to see you all again on our regular uh, session. And today, I guess the topic is unusual, but scary and uh, very frightening. You would have just seen, I want to share with you a short video, right? And then I will also watch together with you a photo. This is a Brutus whale. It's dying, taking its final breaths. It was found to have six square meters of plastic sheeting inside it. It couldn't eat and it died of malnourishment. Its digestive system was blocked and it died a terrible, painful death. We shared the video, we watched together, and the still photo, right? That was a photo of a broader wheel, and the video showed the wheel dying in its last minutes. And what killed the wheel was, because when they opened up the stomach of the wheel, they found six square meters of plastic sheet. And this huge plastic sheet was blocking the digestive, digestive system of the wheel. So the wheel couldn't eat and eventually died a very painful death. Uh, this photo and this video clip is taken from a documentary called Plastic Oceans. Uh, you can search it on YouTube. And I think it was made six, seven years ago, is about how the ocean is filled with plastics and how it is killing uh, the ocean and therefore uh, destroying the environment for human survival. But today, I'm going to talk to you about something that's even more frightening, even more scary and even more worrying than what you saw which killed the brother's wheel. This is something that was just released a few days ago. Scientists just released a study where they found that in our plastic bottle water, you know the one that you buy and you drink so frequently, some, most of the time it's about 500 ml, whether it is uh, Spritzer or uh, Avion or Perrier or all the other brands that you can think of, the endless brands that you can think of. Each one is 500 ml. If two bottles of this makes up about 1000 ml, scientists have just discovered that one liter of bottled water, plastic bottled water, contains on average 240 thousand nano plastic particles 240,000 nano plastic particles in just one liter of plastic bottle water how many bottles of water do you drink each day you know we always told drink at least eight cups of water every day so in each of this 500 ml, you have about 100 over 1,000 nanoplastic particles. This is not including microplastics. What they have found out is because scientists have invented a new technology that's allowed them to look at particles that are so small. In the past, they couldn't because they did not have the equipment and the technology to see beyond microplastics. Microplastics, the particles are less than 5 millimeters long. Nanoplastic is less than 1 micrometer. Now, how, how small is that? Our human hair, the diameter of our human hair is 70 
micrometers, 70. Nanoplastics is less than one micrometer. That's how small it is. And two bottle water has about 240,000. That's on average. It goes up to as high as 370,000 nanoplastic particles in two plastic bottles. And you drink a lot of this every day. Am I right? And we think that, you know, we're always told, drink a lot of water, drink a lot of water, blah, 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 make sure you're hydrated, and so on and so forth. And you don't realize that you are actually accidentally killing yourself. But well, unless you want to commit suicide, you know, then of course, drink more water from this bottle of water, then you find a good way. Well, what happens is this. Nanoplastics pose an even bigger threat to human health than microplastics because nanoplastics are so small that they can enter, penetrate human cells, they can enter our bloodstream, and they can impact all our human organs. They can also go through the placenta to the bodies of unborn babies. Uh, what they found out is that when they did the experiment, when the scientists did the experiment with uh, mice in the lab, they found that the mice developed Parkinson's disease. And they had uh, the, the fetal development of the mice was disrupted, and the nanoplastic seeped into their brains and wreak havoc in their brains. This is at the, at the mice level, right? So, at the human levels, what scientists are convinced is that they enter our lungs, they end up in our stomachs through our foods and our drinks, and they will destroy our immune system, they will tamper with our body metabolism, and they will encourage ourselves into self-destruction. So, this is, I mean, this discovery uh, is shocking, but it is very worrying because at the moment, all over the world, not just uh, not just in this Asia, not just in countries in Asia, but all over the world. There are no rules and regulations governing microplastics and nanoplastics. Of course, you can't regulate nanoplastics because scientists have just discovered that there's so much of it in just the plastic bottle water, right? So, Plastic is, according to the scientists, plastic is like, it's like our skin, very much, very similar to our skin. They, they constantly flake off, they constantly peel off. So that's why you got this microplastic, this nanoplastic constantly peeling off. And I think I have mentioned it somewhere else before that even when you open the cap, you open, you got a plastic bottle, you open the cap of the bottle, that opening itself, creates microplastics. Now, if that can create microplastics, I'm pretty sure a lot of nanoplastic particles are also being created. So if the six square meter of plastic sheet can kill the very gentle whale, then what happens to this, on average, 240,000 nanoparticle plastics, particles in our in our entire body system and that's only assuming you drink two bottles so on throughout the year how how many nanoparticle na nanoplastic particles would have our body accumulated and what is the impact on our health that part the scientists haven't really studied yet uh, because the scientists have just uh, discovered this nanoplastic, these nanoplastic particles. So the next stage is to study the toxicity of these plastic particles. I don't think I need to be a 
brilliant scientist. I'm not a scientist, you know. I don't need to be a brilliant scientist to know what this tiny particle, so much of them, so many of them, what they can do to the very uh, delicately balanced body system that we have in, in all of us. You know, the, the human body is a miracle. Uh, everything is finely balanced. It's, it's like nature in, 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 at a micro level. Right? Nature, if you disturb uh, its balance, then it gets destroyed and so on. You get all kinds of adverse consequences. In the case of uh, our body, the same thing. I mean, uh, I, I know because uh, recently I've been having problem uh, with an enlarged prostate. You know, for guys, after your certain age, you have a very high chance of having enlarged prostate. And a prostate is it's a very small, it's a very tiny organ inside the body. It's, it's the size of a walnut, which is very small. But once you disturb that, where the, where, where the prostate becomes... 20% larger, 40% larger, the entire equilibrium in the person's body is completely disturbed. So, I can imagine if you have 240,000 nanoplastic particles in just two plastic bottles, the country which consumes the most uh, bottle water in absolute terms is America United States of America huge amount uh, let me see whether I got the figures yeah, this is from United Nations in 2021 US alone consumed 61.4 billion liters of uh, bottle water 61.4 billion liters Next is China, 48.8 billion. After that is Indonesia, surprisingly, South Korea, Germany, Australia, and so on. Now this is on total consumption. But if you look at it on a per capita basis, that means total consumption divided by the population in that country. The country that will shock you, which has got the highest Per capita consumption of bottled water is Singapore. Singapore, the country that's supposed to be uh, very conscious of uh, healthy practices and so on. In 2021, on a per capita basis, Singapore consumed 1,129 1, liters per person. Next, is Australia with about 500 liters per person and America is about 185-190 liters per person and because China has got a huge population on a per capita basis on a per person basis China drops to among the lowest China per person consumes about 40 liters per person 40 liters per person compared with Singapore, 1,129. Can you imagine if China were to consume the same per capita level, not, not as say as Singapore, as even America. My goodness, there's a lot of toxicity. And Malaysia, for those of you who are interested on a per capita basis, Malaysia is about... 140 liters per capita, which is uh, out of there. You have, I think, Malaysia is either on a per capita basis is either the number ten or the eleven highest per capita consumption of bottled water in the world. So this is not about environment. The brother's will is about making sure that we do not kill our environment. Do not destroy our biodiversity. This video, this topic is about how not to kill yourself. And in the process, make our nature, our environment a lot healthier than what it can be. So, I hope you share this because 
you know, during my time in the 60s and the 70s when I was in primary school and secondary school and even when I started working, there's no such thing as, we, we never hear advice of, oh, you got to drink eight cups of water, so many liters of water per day, otherwise you'll be unhealthy. We never heard that kind of nonsense. And you don't see us carrying this kind of uh, self-destructive instrument with us everywhere we go. You know, now you see a lot of people carrying bottled bottle of water. Last time we drink whenever we are thirsty. But now, this habit of having bottled water available anywhere, everywhere, I think got to, something got to be changed, something got to be stopped. Right? Even if you don't want to kill yourself, the production of plastic to contain this uh, bottled water is already very, very environmentally unfriendly. Or, you know, during our time we drink, our drinking water comes from tap water. Of course, we boil it. We drink a lot of tap water. And uh, generally speaking, in countries like Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Australia, or places like Hong Kong and so on, or even in China, the tap water is a lot healthier than this water that you find in the plastic bottle. Right? It doesn't have the level of plastic toxicity that I was talking about earlier. So think about it. Share this with your friends, with your family. Of course, uh, like, like our video, like our social media and so on and so forth. And then have a, have a healthier life. Have a good weekend. Thank you very much.